Hi everyone, how are you? Um, it's a bit of a strange report today. Um, it was actually an event that took place on Tuesday the 8th of March. Um, it's shocking and yet it's not surprising because this is something that's been going on um, since the beginning of the year. Now, it's presumably dead fish. There's been yet another incident of dead fish Okay, but this time we're talking about not thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands as other reports may, may have, have given. We're talking about millions, not one or two million, but millions. In fact, some articles I've looked at have recorded billions of anchovies and sardines in California, a place called um, Redondo Beach in California. Millions of these things. Now, so many that it's actually like a foot deep. Of, of, of you know we're not talking about just the, the surface a few dead fish floating on the surface but actually a foot deep into the sea now the official explanation on this although articles do um, say that authorities don't know but any explanation that's been given on this event is um, oxygen so they're saying that basically the anchovies have all got kind of compact and close together and they're all breathing and then obviously they're breathing up all the oxygen and then they suffocate because there's no oxygen left. Now, why? Okay, well, the explanation is that in the deeper waters, some predatory fish, bigger fish that would eat these anchovies, were kind of there, and then these anchovies fled and went to shallower waters for safety. Now, if that were the case, right, now that does make sense, because they, they would all kind of go to the shallow waters, all stick together, breathe too much and suffocate and die. That's logical. But if that's what happened, wouldn't that be happening all the time? I mean, are not the great, the bigger fish in the food chain regularly chasing anchovies? You'd have thought so. Okay. Now, another strange thing about this incident is that the birds um, are not eating these anchovies. Okay? Now, wouldn't you think that, you know, free lunch, all these like dead fish floating on the water, little anchovies, bit of a free lunch there, wouldn't they be uh, eating them? Well, they're not. So, what does that mean? Are they poisonous? Do these birds know that these fish aren't good to eat, that there's, that there's poison in them or something? Have they been poisoned? I don't know. Um, it's all a bit of a mystery. Um, now, it's all very well saying about oxygen starvation for these fish because this has been um, told on many occasions on these fish deaths that it's all to do with oxygen starvation, but that doesn't account for the dead birds and other animal species that have been dying, just dropping dead in random places all over the world. Um, why have these anchovies been chased to shallower waters now and not all throughout time? The, 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 these, the, these fish, these birds, these animals, um, you know, too many to number. This has all been happening since the beginning of 2011. So it, it's just all a big mystery. It really is a mystery. Some people are talking about pole shift. I don't know. Perhaps. Um, if there's some pole shift going on, it's very slow, isn't it? Well, the pole shifts slowly anyway, doesn't it? Um, they're talking about a more rapid than usual pole shift. Magnetic pole shift, that is. Um, but I just don't know. Um, there's pros and cons with every argument. But this is what we do know. We do know that it's happening. And we do know this, it isn't normal. That's, that's two things. Number one, it's happening. And number two, it's not normal. Now, there's people out there that will tell you this is normal. Well, it's not. Ask yourself, is it normal? It's not normal. Okay. So, um, so why is it happening? What's going on? I don't know. I just wanted to report this event. You know, it just happened. Um, it, it's... It's happening a lot. This one just stood out because we're talking about so many fish. 
You know, she's talking about a large number of fish, and I just thought, wow, this is really fascinating. I'm going to report this. Okay, and I'm going to put some links in the description below so you can read a few articles of your own. Okay? You take care. Bye-bye.